So in this video, I'm going to go over how maintaining boundaries can help you relieve stress. This is a big thing I deal with with my clients. And in the comments below, you'll see there's a 30 second quiz you can take to find out how do you deal with stress. You may get some very helpful information from it. So maintaining boundaries is essential for your mental and emotional health. It's also for your self-esteem and self-respect. If you don't maintain those boundaries, it kind of starts eating away with you. And there's a big connection between boundaries and stress. And we may do it, you know, we may work on it and create the boundaries and then something happens. I know this is the case for me right now. I'm learning to play pickleball and I have a group of friends for playing. Well, this time of year where I live, it's very hot. So they like playing inside as opposed to outside. It's too hot. I don't like the facility where we play inside. I just, there's something about the vibe, the aggressive people there. I prefer to play outside. So I find myself just making all kinds of excuses why I can't meet them. And I know <laughs> this week, I have to clearly state my boundaries. That I just don't like playing at the indoor place and once we can play outside again, I'll join them again. And instead it's like, you know, I know it's causing me stress. So it could be just a small circumstance like this. But again, it's being aware of it first. All, awareness is always the first time you can start changing. Being aware, then you could do the changes. So what is the connection between boundaries and um, stress? The first is boundary violation. And do you allow any boundary violation? That certainly can um, increase the stress. That could be in a relationship. It could be overextending yourself at work. When you don't have the time and, oh no, I'll do that. It could be somebody asks you to do something a favor and you really don't have the time and it's creating more stress in your life to do it. So it's overextending yourself. The second is lack of self-care. If you don't create boundaries, you're not going to have time for self-care. And self-care is essential to relieve stress. That's the second. The third is conflict with boundaries. Are there any unresolved issues in relationships? or maybe some unhealthy relationships that are just one-sided. It's all about them, it's all about them. Or maybe some unresolved with forgiveness or something that you need to uh, do some work with, some shadow work with that. And the last is empowerment. When you create boundaries, you will feel empowered. You'll have more self-esteem and more self-respect by just learning to communicate what it is you want. So now, how are you gonna do these boundaries? Well, there's two steps. The first is to communicate, and the second is to take the action. So you're gonna communicate your needs first in a very kind way, and then you're gonna follow through with the action. So if you, like with me with pickleball, I'm so sorry, I really not comfortable at the indoor spot I prefer to play outside. And then my action, I'm not gonna to go to the indoor spot anymore. And setting boundaries can be as simple as saying no. A lot of times no is a complete sentence. Remember that. It's just saying no. And if you're uncomfortable doing it, think of a time when somebody said no to you. How did you feel? Maybe journal about that. And then think of a time when you said no. How did you feel? You're not carrying that stress and energy into your day. It's a clear boundary. And if you have trouble saying no or communicating, practice. Write it down. Practice saying it in the mirror. The more you practice, the easier it will be. And the last thing, if you communicate, you take action, and people are still not respecting your boundaries, don't let them slide at all, not even one time. Communicate your needs again and don't let them slide. Remind them what it is you deserve and what boundaries you set. I'd love to know in the comments how you feel when you say no and how do you feel when someone says no to you. 
and do you practice in the mirror? Let me know. Sending you lots of love and light. Till next time, and remember, take 30 seconds to take that quiz on stress.